Hello friends, I'm Nayesh Sheikh and today in this video I'll teach you how to create a professional and beautiful LMS website that is learning management system website with WordPress. Now for the design features and functionalities of this website, I have taken inspiration from the top LMS websites in the world like Udemy and Skillshare. This website has all the features that a professional learning management system website must have. Now let me tell you about some of the core features. First of all, you can create courses and in that course you can create different types of lectures like audio lecture, video lecture, podcast, etc. You can also create different types of quizzes like true or false, fill in the blanks, single choice or multiple choice, etc. You can also create certificates for students which will automatically generate their name when they complete the course. And because this website is based on Elementor, creating this website is super easy and the design of the website is also amazing. Now in this video, we'll also add the functionality of instructors, which means that if someone wants to teach on your website and if they want to create their own course on your website, they can do that. And not only that, whenever there is a sale of the course that they have created on your website, on every such sale, you will get commissions, any amount of commission that you can set. So basically, if you want, only you can create courses or you can even allow others to create courses on your website. We'll also make sure that this website is 100% user and mobile friendly, fast, safe and secure and obviously beautiful in terms of design. Now, before we proceed further, before we start creating this website, let me first show you a quick demo of the exact same website that we'll be creating in this video. Now, first of all, this is the home page. And as I said you earlier, to create this website, we will be using Elementor. So creating this website, this entire website, including this home page and other pages is super simple. Now, if you see this page on top of this page, you will see this top header. So in top header, you can have some text, you can have some numbers, anything like that. So what I've done is I've given my customer care number and customer care email address. Then at the right hand side on this top bar, you will see profile link. If you click on that link, you can see your dashboard and I'm getting the logout option because I'm already logged into this website. If you're not already logged in, you will get another option, login option or register option. If you click on profile, we'll see what happens later on. We'll see you will see your dashboard front end dashboard. Then after that, we have your first section. Now in this section, as you can see, first of all, you have your main menu at the left hand side, you have your logo. Obviously, you can change this thing and you can enter or place in your own logo. Then at the right hand side, we have this simple but very beautiful and very useful menu. Then we have our first section. So basically, every single website is divided into different sections. So as you can see, this is our first section. Then we have another section. This is our third section, then fourth section. So every website, every single page on every single website in this world is divided into different sections. Now, the first section we have over here is this simple slider. So when you uh, do it like this, as you can see, there are several slides available over here and you can have different animation for all this text and button and everything. We also have some text over here like best industry leaders, learn online courses, books, library and store. So obviously you can enter any logo or any text over here. Now, when you scroll down, you will see the next section, which is the popular courses section. Instead of popular courses, if you want to showcase the latest courses or featured courses, obviously you can do that. Now here, these are the most popular courses on this website and you can see by number, this course has 273 students. The second course has 60, third course 50 and fourth course has 45 students enrolled in this course. Now, very shortly, I'll show you how a single course page looks like. But before that, you can see this is a carousel. Before that, let's see some other section. Now, this is a number section or a counter section wherein you can show how many students you have on your website registered, how many graduates, which, which means that how many students graduated from your website, how many countries reached, how many courses published. You can enter all those numbers over here. Then when you scroll down, you will see different categories like backend, CSS, frontend, general category, IT and software. So based on the courses, we can create different categories and we can show them on the website on our home page. Then when you scroll down, you will see the latest news. So in this website, we'll also see how to create different blogs and how to do blogging. So these are all the different blogs that you, you can create to generate some extra traffic on your website. 
and obviously at the bottom you will see your footer okay so first of all you will see your logo at the top i have deleted that logo but you can see your logo at the top then we have your email address your number your social ids and some extra links over here and at the bottom if anyone wants to become an instructor if they want to create their own website they can click on this link we'll see what happens when anyone clicks on this link but first of all let's go at the top and let's see a single course so let me open this course right guys so as you can see this is how the single course page will look like if you scroll down this is how it will look like now at the top you have this section first of all you have the same section at the top the top bar section and after that you have the main section now in this main section you have your menu and after that we have the category name so this course falls under technology category then when you scroll down you will see the main course the title of the course the teacher or the instructor of the course in which category this course falls and how many reviews this course has now the price over here is free so if you want you can create free courses or if you want you can create paid courses and obviously because we can create paid courses we can also accept payments on our website so we can directly accept credit card and debit card payments on our website we don't have to redirect a person to some third party website you can simply accept all type of payments right on your website then when you scroll down you will see this is the featured image of the course and when you scroll down you will see the overview of the course like what you're going to learn in this course then you can see the curriculum how many sections and how many different lectures are available then you will see the instructor so you if you want you can also create a co-instructor course which means that in a single course there can be multiple instructors and after that you have the review which is a very simple thing then when you scroll down if someone wants to if they don't like this course they can go ahead and they can choose some other similar courses at the right hand side you will see your sidebar so all the different categories the latest course some google ads if you want to enter some google ads over here you can do that and at the bottom also it will give you some quick links okay so that you don't have to scroll up over here you can do it from the bottom as well so this is how this single course looks like and obviously if you want uh, if someone wants to see any lecture they can simply click on that lecture and they can see that lecture if they want to take this course they can click on this take this course button and they can take this course and this is how the single lecture page looks like if they want they can enter this video title of the course everything is given over here we'll see these things in detail later on in this video let's come back to the website now let's see the listing page you know so if you click on courses you can see the complete list of courses which are available on your website so as you can see all the different courses which are available on this website and at the right hand side we also have this sorting option so if you want to filter these courses like if you want to see only courses which fall under front end category or back end category or only free courses if you want to see only free courses you can tick mark free and click on filter results then you will see only free courses then after that you have the course category latest course and some google ads if you want to display them now we'll also be creating the blog page so whatever blogs or posts you have created you can see all of them over here then after that we have the about page now for the about page and contact page you don't even have to create this thing i'll simply give you a free template you can simply click on that template and you can import this course or you can import this these pages about page and contact page for free you don't even have to create them so i'll show you how that thing works then you have a become a teacher page so whoever wants to become a teacher or an instructor on your website they can come over here fill in this form they, they can just click on submit and they can just start teaching or creating courses on your website so this is how this thing works and if you click on profile let's see what happens so here you can see how many courses you have applied for and how many courses that you have own created and if you have some money in your account you can send a withdrawal request and everything so all these options are available and if you have completed any course you can see uh, the certificate of that course over here i haven't completed any course so i don't see anything over here we can also wish list courses and we can see all of them in this wish list page all right guys so this was a very short demo of the exact same website that we'll be creating in this video i wanted to show the demo website right at the beginning so that you guys can get a better idea about the website that you're going to create in this video now i hope you guys like the demo website and if you want to create the exact same website make sure to watch the complete tutorial
And before we proceed further, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any future notifications. If you find this video helpful, give a thumbs up to this video, share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, whatever social media platform you use. And throughout the video, if you have any doubts, any comments, any suggestions for me, you can leave them in the comments section below. Now, let's start creating this website. Alright guys, now to create any kind of website, whether it be an LMS website, an e-commerce website, a simple blog, a business website, any kind of website, we need two basic things, a domain name and a hosting account. A domain name is simply the name or the URL of your website, for example, blogdood.com, nayashik.com, youtube.com, google.com, all these things are different domain names. So we also have to register a domain name on the internet so that whenever someone wants to visit your website, they can enter that domain name in the URL bar and they can land on your website. And the second and the most important thing that we need is the hosting account. A hosting is basically a computer wherein your entire website is saved. So if you see this entire website, all the different courses, all the different lectures, videos about the course, all the different pages, this entire website is saved in a computer. And that computer is running 24 seven. So that whenever someone wants to visit your website at any given time from any particular country, they can always see your website live. Your website is always up and running. Now hosting is the most important thing about your website because everything related to your website is directly or indirectly dependent on your hosting. Your website speed, your website's performance, the user experience on your website, your website security, also the Google search engine rankings totally depends on your hosting. If you have selected a better, good and reliable hosting, your website speed and performance will be amazing. And obviously if you have selected a crappy, cheap hosting, your website will load very slow and it will be very difficult for you to rank higher on Google search results. Because Google never ranks those websites higher which has very bad performance and very bad speed. Now there are literally thousands of different hosting providers available in the market but very few of them are really good and reliable. But you don't have to worry about that, you can simply open a new tab and type in blogdoot.com slash sg. SG stands for SiteGround and this link is also given in the video description below. So you don't even have to type in this thing, simply click on that link and you should be redirected to this page.